Daisy. Are you there? There comes Pearl. And there comes my pearly girl. Pearly girl and Maisie Daisy. All right. Yeah, did I come outside? I did. Good morning, everyone. I know, I know, I know. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Munchkin. Oh, I'm late today. I, I threw on this sweater. This is a new sweater I bought at, uh, on thread up it's it's uh you know recycled clothes or whatever anyway it had the tags on it it's a cashmere sweater and i got it for a reasonable price and so i bought it and it's just the perfect no no just the perfect thing for today although actually it's warm enough this morning i'm late enough that i don't really need it hi i'm barbara thank you for coming ouch may stop it's enough my dog Oh, my neighbor just started. I mean, just started. <laughs> anyway, did not have a great night. Feeling a little blah. Going over to the in-laws after um, my physical therapy today. Dennis is in making our dinner, which is uh, the uh, sausage casserole, which is actually a sausage stuffing for goose and duck so my mother-in-law will get a preview of that because that's what we're having for dinner and then uh, and if I have time I'm gonna run in and make some lemon bars for our dessert my my father-in-law was not good yesterday and my mother-in-law did not want to leave him so Dennis and I went and got the apples and delivered them so I got to see Kim we've been ships passing in the night so I got to see Kim, brought them apples. Dennis, we took some back so that he could make our dinner. So, now you're all up to date. <laughs> you're all up to date. I did not do a thing I was planning on. I didn't go, I go to my knit night. My, my Skype is a little weird, so I... I was reading and by the time I realized it was already late and I don't know. So I was reading yesterday. I read two books yesterday. I just felt like reading. Um, the second book was a book I'd never read before. I'm reading the David Gemmel books again and I have lots of them. And then, um, and then I had a Harlan Coben mystery out of the library and I, um, and I think it was called Fool Me Once. Um, if it's not Fool Me Once, I'll put it in the down bar because it's on my phone, so I can't check. I could check, but I don't have my glasses on. Anyway, I think it's called Fool Me Once. And it was good. I enjoyed it a lot. I had actually met Harlan Coben many, many, many years ago. Gosh, I can't even think how many years ago. But I was married to Dennis at the time, I'm pretty sure, so... 20 years ago, maybe? 20 years ago? My mother um, was a writer. She wrote several um, textbooks, English grammar textbooks. She was a grammarian um, in her professional life, and she wrote several English grammar textbooks. Understanding English grammar and rhetorical grammar are both still in print, I think. She's got um, she ended up with collaborators on understanding English grammar, which is very much still in print. And um, anyway, so she was a writer and she wanted to expand her writing into writing fiction. And she was actually very interested in writing mystery. She wrote a mystery called January Thaw Set Out on the Farm. but it was never published but she was interested and we did several we did several writing workshops together i was in i've always thought of myself as a novelist i've never written anything but for some reason in my head i'm a novelist we can explore that at another time but anyway so i've gone to several writing workshops with my mother and one of them was a actually a mystery writers conference in florida <laughs> 
she and I went to this mystery writers conference in Florida. And Harlan Coben, who was just starting out at that time and wasn't super famous, I had never heard of him, um, was a speaker at that conference. And I don't remember tons about that conference, except for one super cool outing. We went to a shooting range and um, all these mystery writers, or would-be mystery writers, we went to a, sh a shooting range and they had representatives from four or five different gun manufacturers there and we got to shoot every kind of pistol and mostly pistols and um you know small guns because of course these gun manufacturers are interested in having detectives use their guns in the books right because that's like free advertising it's sort of like you know james bond uses a wather or something right everybody knows that except i don't know for sure but you know what i mean so anyway so they were very interested in mystery writers using their guns in their books so we had every station had a different kind of gun and had the guy there or the woman there talking about the guns and whatever i shot a gun it was about i don't know a foot a foot long and huge and heavy and when you shot it fire shot out the front of the barrel <laughs> you know i mean as the bullet left there was like flame it was the coolest thing <laughs> Anyway, we tried all kinds of guns, um, and the people the people were really lovely, and they're like, wow, this is so much fun. The people who were running it, Pearl, girls, Pearl, no, they're locked in the house now. <laughs> Apparently, we had a delivery, and they rang the bell, and the dogs are going, whatever. Anyway, the people who were running this event, apparently they do this fairly regularly, but the, uh, all the representatives, everything, they were having such a good time. They said, oh, this is so much more fun than normal because normally they do these events for like the press, you know, and people like that. People who are not necessarily interested in guns in a sort of positive way, if that's, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> So anyway, they were having a lot of fun, and I have to admit, it was a lot of fun. I, I um, think of myself as a good shot now. I haven't really shot a gun in a really long time, but I took a rifle class when I was in college and got an A. <laughs> I consider myself a good shot, and I consider myself a novelist. Are you, am I crazy? Do you have some like picture of yourself as something other than, you know, some idea of, of you like that? Or is that just me being nuts? Maybe. But anyway, I read a Harlan Colbin last night and it was good and I enjoyed it. And uh, she mentioned several, the, the um, protagonist mentioned several she, kinds of guns. <laughs> she had a gun safe. <sighs> But that's where I met Harlan Coben. And I'm not sure if I've read any other of his books, but I did enjoy this one. I don't know if he has a series. I don't know if he has a detective. This was a standalone book, for sure. Anyway, that's what I did yesterday. I got in bed and I had a knot in my stomach like this. I started thinking about all the things and I'm like, oh great, this is a great idea because I'm gonna really sleep well. But what are you going to do? I am wearing some of my fancy earrings. These are smoke, smoky topaz, I think. I tried to wear other earrings. I have some earrings that I made that would have gone good with my shirt. I'm wearing like a green shirt. And it would have been perfect. Except it has the lever back um, earring holders that make such great progress keepers. For me, those though that kind of back, I can't get it in my ear. I need something that can kind of go straight in and those because of the way they're designed doesn't work 
So I couldn't get them in my ears, so I'm going to remake the. I made them, so I'll remake them with the hook, and I'll be able to wear them. So I will remake them at some point and show them to you another day. <sighs> so anyway, that's it for me. I'm going to try to go make some lemon bars for my mother-in-law and me for dinner. And... Uh, That's all I can think think of. Dennis is cooking. Go cuddle my dogs. Because I don't, you know, I'll probably stop home tomorrow at some point. Maybe I'll come and help him walk the dogs and whatever. If I do that, then I will have a vlog tomorrow. But if I don't come home, I'm not sure that I'm going to be having a vlog tomorrow. So if I don't see you tomorrow, I will be sorry to have missed day number 208 or whatever. But um, I will see you on Saturday. But I'm also giving it some thought of trying to like go live on YouTube. I've never done that before. My mother-in-law has terrible internet, so I don't even know if that's possible. But I might give it a try. I can always delete it, I think. <laughs> this will all be on my phone. Who even knows, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow or Saturday. I hope you are well. I hope you are well. We have a gorgeous day here. Gorgeous sunny day. And that will help my mood a lot. And I have physical therapy. So I will talk to you later. Take good care of yourselves. Stay safe and stay sane.